Today, uh, I'm pleased to announce that after, after months of tough and thoughtful negotiations, I think we have an historic, I know we have a historic economic framework. It's a framework that will create millions of jobs, grow the economy, invest in our nation and our people, turn the climate crisis into an opportunity and put us on a path not only to compete, but to win the economic competition for the 21st century against China and every other major country in the world. What's good, guys? This is Josh here, and the White House claimed to have struck a deal on a multi-trillion dollar proposal, which also includes EV tax credits. And this really caught my attention because you know I am still waiting for the delivery of my Tesla Model Y that I ordered back in August, and some people have been as bold as to go back and cancel their orders in hopes to save thousands of dollars whenever they pick up their Teslas at delivery. So in this video, I'm going to highlight first the EV tax credit section of the bill, what this will mean for my order, and if you should wait to buy your EV if you put in one already, or if you should go back and cancel the order in order to save thousands of dollars. And I'm going to tell you in this video exactly what I'm talking about. Today, less than 1% of the country's 250 million cars trucks and vans are electric and that's all according to the New York Times. And President Joe Biden, he wants to break the country's addiction to gas powered vehicles and he has been bold as well to make a promise that half of the cars sold in the United States will be electric or plug-in hybrid by the year 2030. So last week, the White House released the framework for a Build Back Better Act, which the price tag is $1.85 trillion. And just know that that's the largest climate change measure in American history. And the bill will also encourage millions of Americans to swap out their gas guzzling vehicles for EVs. So the EV portion of the Build Back Better plan, this is how it's going to work. There will be a $7,500 tax credit that will be the base price for all vehicles that are EV and there is no cap before a certain number has been sold in the US. Because originally, just say if a car company, if they made 200,000 cars, the credits would drop off. This will not be the case with this. And this will continue for five years of purchase on all EVs. And at the end of the five years, the $7,500 tax credit will remain. However, it will Will only remain on vehicles that were built in the US. So any EV after the five years will not qualify for that tax credit. And this is a way to encourage people to buy American made cars. There will also be a bonus of $4,500 added to any car that is built by a union here in the United States. So that's potentially already a $12,000 credit and that can also also be taken off of the sales price and there will also be another $500 boost as long as 50% or more of the components in the battery were manufactured here in the United States. That's $12,500 that you will be able to take off the price of the car. So the new electric Ford F-150, whenever that comes out, that will qualify for the entire $12,500. So you will be able to take $12,500 off of the price of the F-150 electric. So as for Tesla, the cars are built here in the United States, especially if you're going to order in the United States. And the base price for a Model Y today, and I say the base price today, Today because if you've been keeping up with Tesla, the price has been fluctuating over the last few months now. It's been going up and up and up. So right now, the base price for a Model Y is $56,990. And it will qualify for the standard EV tax credit of $7,500. And the battery too is also built in the United States. So Tesla will also receive the additional $500. However, 
Tesla is not a union factory. So what that means is that Tesla will be capped at $8,000 and not the $12,500. So there's going to be a $4,500 disadvantage for Tesla compared to the other union built cars. So I'm going to get right to the information for you. So the MSRP caps on the cars are $55,000 for sedans. $64,000 for vans, $69,000 for SUVs, and $74,000 for trucks. And now that I'm buying a Tesla Model Y, I looked it up and to see what the Model Y is classified as. And I'm in good luck because the Model Y is going to be classified as an SUV, and it is considered an SUV. So the Model Y without self full driving will be eligible for the $8,000 tax credit and this sucks because the model s and the model x will not qualify for the tax credit because of the price point and then the income caps in order to receive the tax credit you will have to make less than four hundred thousand dollars as an individual six hundred thousand dollars as the head of household and eight hundred thousand dollars for those that's filing jointly and the great thing about this tax credit is that it's at point of sale meaning that they will take that money off at the dealership unlike the tax credits in the past where you would have to file and if your liabilities did not reach the tax credit you wouldn't get the whole amount so i will be paying fifty five thousand four hundred dollars for my tesla after the fees are included however if this bill is going to be passed at delivery i will not have to pay the fifty five thousand four hundred dollar amount but that amount will be reduced to forty seven thousand four hundred dollars after the discount of the eight thousand dollar tax credit is applied so this is the part that really got me nervous it will not take effect how the bill is written right now until december the 31st 2021 and the money will not be retroactive meaning if the tesla that i ordered came in on december the 28th i will lose out on eight thousand dollars and this is the part that really got me nervous because right now my delivery date has been going back and forth right now it's been going back and forth between mid-december to mid-january and mid-january to mid-february so if the car decide to come in like a day or two early earlier before the 31st that could cost me an additional eight thousand dollars so i really hope that they do change that or have a retroactive point in there in order to qualify because right now that's hurting the automakers and people are now canceling their orders and reordering just to make sure that they take advantage just say on the tesla that eight thousand dollars or on ford F-150s or any of the other cars that qualify for the whole amount, those two days could cost you up to $12,500. So that's the only thing that's got me anxious about this whole process because that will really help out to save the $8,000 on my Tesla Model Y. So where are you in the car buying experience? Have you placed the order just say for Tesla? Are you just waiting to see what's happening with the EV tax credit? Are you even thinking about getting an EV? Leave all of that in the comment section below. Check out more videos right over there about all things related to your finances. Subscribe by clicking the icon right here and that way you don't miss anything and I will see you in the next video.